In this video, you're going to learn how to make a jicama style sweet and sour coleslaw. Uh, what I've got going on here is slicing up some cabbage. This is a Savoy cabbage. You can see it's a little bit, looks like a Napa cabbage, but it's more shaped like a green cabbage. It's kind of a cross between the two. I'm just uh, shredding this thing up, cutting off nice thin slices to make the basis of our coleslaw. So here we go, we've got this, all this nice cabbage. I'm gonna put that in the bowl. And I'm also gonna cut a little fresh ginger. I'm a big fan of fresh ginger. It comes in the little root like this. I'm just gonna cut a hunk of that off and use the knife to get the peel off of it. Real quick and easy here. And uh, ginger's great for the digestion. It's great, nice, savory element. Um, I'm gonna do a little quick julienne cut here. So I'm just slicing it first in one direction, in the direction that it grows in. So that I'm going with the fibers in the ginger. Then I'm gonna pile that all up and cut it across that. Get these nice little thin shreds of gin ginger to add in our slaw. So I'm gonna give this a nice little fine chop. Throw that on in there with the cabbage. And here comes the jicama is the next thing. If you're not familiar with jicama, this is what it looks like. This is um, spelled J-I-C-I-M-A. <laughs> J-I-C-A-M-A, jicama. And uh, it's a root vegetable. It's got a nice crunchy, crisp flavor to it. Just gonna hack off a piece of that and uh, put the outer skin off of it. That part not so flavorful. It's this nice white, soft interior that's got all the good, yummy flavor part to it. So just using the knife, get this stuff off of here. And then I'm going to use a special tool. If you've ever heard of a julienne slicer, that's what we're going to use today. And that'd be this little bad boy right here. You can see the teeth on there. Ah, it's going to chomp at the vegetable and make nice little julienne style strips. So here we go. Uh, it's my first time using it on jicama but it's going to work pretty well. It's got to let go a little bit. And here we are, these nice thin strips of vegetable. Okay, and that's going to go really well in the coleslaw. So I'm just going to keep going on this. Get a bunch of it. It's nice, it's sweet. Um, it's going to add a crunchy flavor, a crunchy element to the coleslaw and crispy and sweet. Really, really good. And there's a pile of that. We can add that in there. And give it one little cut to break down those pieces a little bit. Okay, so here we go. We've got our slaw. We got the jicama. We got the ginger in there. We got the cabbage. And it's all one color. So we need some color. We're going to take this julienne tool and I'm just going to rinse it off real quick. Color um, situation. Okay. Works a little better on the carrot. The carrot's a little um, stiffer texture, but it worked fine on the jicama. Also use it on a cucumber or on apple. Uh, anything that's got a long shape to it and a crisp enough texture you can get this julienne slicer nice handy little tool and this um, you know if you're making a salad these julienne carrot slices are going to make a beautiful little presentation you can see how nice those shreds are throw those into our coleslaw starting to get some color in there I might even add a little um, fresh cilantro, but for right now, this is what we're working with. 
And finally, I'm going to show you a little shortcut. You could dress this up with some rice vinegar or something like that, but today we're going to use this Newman's light lime dressing. And I'm just going to pour some of that in there. Toss it all up. I'm a big fan of using your hands whenever the opportunity presents itself. They're great kitchen tools. They're right there on the end of your arms, always available. Just make sure they're clean first. And there we go. That is a quick, fast, and easy Hickam coleslaw. Nice change of pace from a creamy style coleslaw. And uh, bring that to your next barbecue or picnic. See what people think of it. Pack it in your lunch. Have it together with some grilled chicken. Uh, just a really versatile and yummy side dish. And that's in a nutshell. You can, like I said, we're going to add some fresh cilantro. And, um, and that's all it really needs. Ready to go. Thanks for watching. And thanks for reading The Confidence Diet.